No. Let me rather say we are ready to bring the treachery of the past day and a half to an end. Mr. Umar, might I ask for your assistance? Oh, not another magic act. What has he got to do with anything? Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to make a proper introduction. I present to you Chief Inspector Henry Allendale of Scotland Yard. Thank you, Captain Warren. Allendale, Hank, is it really you? In the flesh, my lord. Pulling it in disguise, old man. Oh, you can say that again. Well, no wonder he described that photograph in such detail. Henry was on holiday at the Prime Minister's too. My assistant. Corporal Michael James. Oh, Paul, oh, you sure had me fooled. Yes, but alas, Corporal James and myself have not been the only passengers to assume a disguise on this point. Am I right, Mr. Fry? Or should I say, Robert Boyle, alias Stephen Peel, alias Duncan Baker, I could go on, but it all adds up to international beef bootlegger, con man, the notorious Archie Snyder. Oh. Who I have every reason to believe is also none other than the Nottingham Nightcrawler. <laughs> Fiend who's been terrorizing London society for the past half year. The same. For shame, Mr. Fry. Lady Euston came down with a dreadful case of the hives and the disappearance of her pearls. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Oh, banana boy, oh, Mr. Fry. You were after the car or the gems. The car or the gems? Yeah, that's what he called them. Well, now it all makes perfect sense. But, Captain, I'm not certain quite how to proceed. Or indeed, if we ought to at all. Why, Inspector? It is all right. Oh. I will tell. Let me be a oh, yes. No more lies. This girl has risked her life for us. I will tell her now the truth. Dear child, it is I who have been looking for. It is I who has the terrible secret. I am not never as ill Mirabus made. I am not Olga Yamenska. I am the Countess Natalia Karov. Natalia, you a special friend, Mr. Walensky? Yes. <laughs> For ten years since the revolution in our homeland, I have lived in secret, afraid for my life. I did not flee my country at first with Vladimir and the rest. I refused to believe the country I had loved could change so, that the people of the new government would hate me so much as to take my possessions so that they would take the life of my husband and my life as well. But me, they did not find, no. And after all these many years of hiding, I had at last the chance to escape to Paris, where I was reunited with my old friends of the Valley Yama. Vladimir knew of my hopes to escape from Russia. He had helped others to flee, and he had decided that I would come with him to America. All I had left was my wedding tiara. He had made a copy of it for the Ice Maiden so that if I escaped, he could switch them and smuggle it too. But oh, how frightened we were when the dreadful note was delivered as we bought it on the ship. Someone else knew my secret. All would be lost. The Countess had to escape to America, where she would be safe from Soviet agents. There she would be free. That's why you didn't want me to have that photograph. The Countess was in it. I had to break the camera. I'm sorry for that. And for frightening you on deck last night. Then it was one of you who jumped me with that blanket? And to get back the purse. We did not mean to harm you. When young Toria and I searched your cabin and found that the key was not in the purse, I tried to warn you of the danger I wrote upon your mirror. Beware. Well, it was a warning, Kate, not a threat. I was afraid of what might happen to you. Which is why Inspector Allendale and myself kept such a close watch over you as well. We saw you with the key this morning. But I wanted to let Snyder here make his move. We didn't know exactly what he was after. But I knew that if we could catch him red-handed, bringing him to justice would be that much simpler. Yeah, but I didn't get nothing. And you're going to have a pretty tough time trying to prove I was after anything in the first place. You're forgetting your assaulted Miss McGrew. I'm the one with the bruises. She assaulted me. And you mean, Mr. Snyder? Letting Miss McGrew keep that key is a risk I dare not take again. Oh, I would. I wanted to help. Countess Karova, 
Your key. Oh, yes, do open this old trunk, would you? We're all just dying to see what's in it. <laughs> Please, dear child, my hands, they will not keep from trembling. Certainly.
Now, oh, there's a bit of a hobby at the couple of station in India. Come with me, Miss Lizelle. I'll be needing your statement. It was bravely done. Oh, and which play is that from? What to do about nothing? Oh, much to do indeed for a tiara worth nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I must reveal your identity to the proper authorities, Countess Carnival. I understand, Captain. But I am sure that once the Americans hear your story, you will be granted the asylum we all feel you deserve. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Dear child, I don't know how I can ever thank you. The thought of you living in liberty again is the best thanks I could ever hope for, Your Highness. Oh, that wonderful. Well, now I would like to know what I'm supposed to do. What are you whining about, Gerald? Harvard? Since you both broke, am I supposed to go back to Harvard? You'll have to work your way through school. Lots of kids do it. <laughs> But I can't do it and... <laughs> well, <dear. laughs> but, uh, I, I'm simply flabbergasted that Hank Allendale was masturbating about as that old Yes, dear. Well, Kate, there's another mystery solved. Oh, but please, dear, for the remainder of the voyage, try to stay away from straight persons, oh, won't you? It's a promise, Aunt B. Yes. Oh, and Kate, do you suppose they offer a course in criminology at this um, any college for women you're attending? Now, Clive, don't you encourage her. Uh, Besides, I believe Kate has other interests than solving mysteries. Oh, well, I know that. There's tennis and uh, her glee club. Don't stay out too late, dear. Good night, Bob. Good night, Lady Marley. Oh, Lord Marley. Bob? Uh, is that young Carmichael over there? Yes, dear. Uh, <laughs> Did your uncle just say Emmett College Kate? <laughs> sure did, Bob. Oh, why, Emmett's just an hour away from Harvard. Oh, that means Gerald Rodney. Well, no, me. I'm going to be a freshman uh, this fall. You are? Being at Cabot School, so I'm earning my tuition. Well, what do you say we get together during the school year? Oh, that means Jake with me, Bob. Well, and if you ever run across any more mysteries, well, you can call on me anytime. Yeah. Now, who would have thought that there could ever be such a mystery as the one in that old tattered trunk? Only you, Kate McGrew. Only you. Hear this.